We have several different colors of peppers today, um, but we'll use the green pepper for our different processes. If you do something as simple as a stuffed pepper, you're not going to need to process a whole lot. Um, this is one time that I would use my paring knife, um, just because you can be a little bit more delicate. We'll just cut off the top, saving as much as we can. <coughs> you remove the seeds. And then on the inside, uh, you, you want to remove a little bit of the white part. So once you have removed the insides, um, you might just use this as whole for your stuffed pepper. Uh, there's plenty of room in there. Um, but we'll do some different styles with dicing, chunking. <coughs> so with this yellow pepper, I'm going to cut it in half. This way I have a really stable place to put the pepper and it's not rolling on me. And then I can go back through and remove the white by hand. And I'll remove the stem too. So now you can choose to do julienne strips. Um, that's easy enough to dip into hummus or ranch dip or some kind of um, salad dressing. Um, but from there we can easily dice. So if you put multiple pieces of pepper together, it saves you a lot of time. It's a lot more efficient and they're more consistent. So we'll go ahead and dice those up. Of course, you can do um, rings. So with, a, with rings, you won't really even process the pepper at all. You'll just go ahead and cut right through. So you have rings. Uh, you might remove a little bit of this white. Depends on the pepper. Rings. And then uh, lastly, we can just cut uh, lengthwise, remove the seeds. and then use that half maybe to grill, flat side down on your grill. <laughs>